Another camera, you say? Hell no. It's about enough of that shit. All right, now I'm going to be really upfront with you. I really hate Star Wars. I really dislike it as a franchise. I, I guess it's more so I dislike the community. But here, but if you're going to buy a Star Wars toy, don't buy those cheapo little three and, uh, was it, three and three quarter inch toys. You buy the Black Series or you buy the SH Figure Arts if you're not going to buy a statue or something like that. Here we have General Grievous. He stands approximately five and a half inches tall at his... Um, in movie pose, the figure itself being the six inch scale from the, for the black series. Let's see here. He is able to stand. Let's see here. You should always just, yep, just easier just to pull it. Yep. He's so tall, in fact. Doesn't even fit in the frame. Let's see here. Stands approximately seven and a half inches tall. So that I think that does scale correctly. All right. But like I said earlier, if you're going to buy a General Grievous toy, or if you're going to buy a Star Wars toy, and you a fan of General Grievous, this is the toy to buy. I say that because this, uh, not only is it a beautiful sculpt, like here on the head and everything, not only is it a beautiful sculpt, like on the head and in the eyes right here, which I'll just keep it back here for now, and the eyes back here, very detailed, his feet, very good articulation, um, it's all soft Soft plastic and hard plastic. It's a pretty good mixture of it all. His feet articulate here a little. They are on... A, let me see. It is just a joint, but because it's soft plastic, it does swivel just a bit. Just enough to help him do his poses. Uh, I'll get to the arms in just a second here. You can see... Just the amount of detail in this toy is wonderful. I didn't really notice how much detail was in General Grievous as a character until I uh, recently watched Episode 3 again. And yeah, he is a very, very articulated, very detailed character in, in the movie as well. Now, like even, even his hips here, you see that it's... There is a good mixture of organic and robotic here. I can't tell exactly if this is supposed to be actual like sinew and muscle on the on the outer thigh here, but we do have you know the mechanical detail, of course, and you know all the hinges and ball points, and it looks like I would imagine this is the actual femur from General Grievous, but again, that's just my speculation because that is how it is designed. But I believe that is the point to have it look as though it's a good mixture of mechanical and organic. Again, here would be one of the muscles with sinew, and then here's the reinforcement, and that would be the femur. Now, he has good foot rotation. A double, let's see. Yes, a, it, is, it is a double knee joint. As, long, as well as an ankle joint, a double knee joint, which this one bends a lot more, a lot better than this one. This one just gets limited, limited bending on it. His pelvis is very nicely detailed along with his little ass plate here. Very uh, soft rubber to allow for maximum posability. And even on his back here, we have the, you know, the back and the back shoulder plates here. And then we have the neck crest and his head sculpt. Now, I say this is, if you're going to buy a General Grievous toy, this is the one that you're going to want to buy. I say that because his arms do actually snap out of place and each arm is articulatable. The nice, a nice detail about this toy, especially with the arms, is that the shoulder piece is attached to the 
to the uh, posterior arms here, as they do in the movie when he disconnects his arms, the shoulder piece rotates back. So. Okay, this is as close as he can do to his little spider pose when he's walking on all six limbs. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And his head is on a nice little ball joint. And his neck is deep inside his chest there. Also on a nice little ball joint. Very, very nice. Again, each arm is completely uh, separately articulatable. What we have here is one hinge joint and another hinge joint. Elbow joint on each arm. Plenty of flexion because it is a mixture of soft plastic and hard plastic. And he comes with plenty of accessories. He comes with his blaster, which you do see is curved, like my dick. He also comes with his cloak. Unfortunately, it does not separate. It is just one, one woven piece, one piece woven together. And this comes with also four lightsabers and four, four individual pockets inside the cloak. Now, I'm not going to worry about which lightsaber goes to which hilt because all four of these hilts are different hilts. We have, you know, two of them that have a silver tip where the blade comes out. And two of them that have just a solid black tip where the blade comes out. I believe I do remember that there is a rhyme and reason to which color blade goes to which one, black or silver tipped. But I don't give a shit about all that, so I'm just going to put them together. So we have one lightsaber that just snaps together. Two blue lightsabers that snap together. One green saber that just snaps together. And two green sabers. That's actually, I believe that is the correct color coordination on it. Nice long blades for those longtime fans of Star Wars toys. Let's go ahead and take his cloak back off. See if we can get one saber into each hand. And try our best at least. Now again, I might have these colors wrong, you know, which hand are holding which colors. I am not worried about that stuff at all. You can hear my bird over there. I think she wants to play as well. That one's not holding very tightly. That's unfortunate. Alright, we're going to put the green saber in this top hand here. To offset the blue, if we can. Oh, barely fa fits in there. Let me see if I can fit the blue one in there instead then. Oh, the blue fits fine in the smaller hand. Let's see here. Let's see if I can't weasel its will. Not going to happen. Just got to finesse it in there, it looks. Okay, so there we go. Just like in the movie, he can hold all four sabers at once. Now, in the movie, I believe, he, yeah, he, had, he, he does have it like this. And he does have two, two arms above him. Again, this is beautiful, beautiful, wonderful articulation. Then he has these two down here. Now, it's a pretty sizable figure. The knee joints aren't as strong as I'd like them to be. So they may not hold all this weight up without a little, uh, either something to stand him against, or you can always have him sit down on a rotating plate, which is always nice. There we go. Again, he also does come with his blaster, curve and all. There is no space for him to, to put his blaster on his body, nor inside of his cloak here. But there we go. General Grievous, Black Series, Star Wars toy. 